What's up guys, it's Michael Stewart here with another Corel Paint Shop Pro tutorial. So today I'll be showing you how to create this energy ball um, effect, oftentimes seen in movies, um, superhero movies, cartoons, Kamehameha Wave, Goku kind of stuff. So let's get straight into it. Um, it's a very simple effect that can be achieved um, quite easily. So let's get started. So um, I'm going to grab this image and paste it as a new image. So basically what you want to do, you want to find the energy ball that you want to use. What I did, I just simply did a Google search for energy ball. I saw this one. Of course, you can choose any one that you prefer. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using this one. So copy the image. Um, go back to Curl Painter Pro, paste it in. So your next step now is to size it up. So to make to size it up, I'm going to make the layer a little bit um, more transparent, just so that you can see what's happening in the background in terms of um, the size of the, the energy ball relative to the hand. So. Once we have the sizing um, right, um, I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'll also choose to rotate it because as you can see in this, there's a, a sharp cutting off that's happening here. So I would rather put that to the bottom and then fade it out as opposed to having it at the top. So let me see. Okay, great. What I'm now going to do, I'm going to change the blend mode. So increase the up, up, up the opacity of the um, the layer. Then change the opacity, the blend mode. Sorry, to let's try multiply. No, that's not working. So it's a matter, matter of cycling through. So I'm just going to cycle through until I see um, the desired effect. So I'm using the down arrow key. And the, the effect that I want, the the blend mode that I want is actually screen. So this looks good. So what screen does it helps to get rid of the excess, the black layers leaving the, the colored layers on the screen. <laughs> Plain word screen. So I'm going to rotate this a bit. maybe like this okay great so the next step is really to beef this effect up some more so I'm going to duplicate the layer just to give it a thicker uh, look and um, I could even turn down the opacity of that top layer so that it's not as strong so once that's done I will merge the layers, merge down, and I'll use the eraser tool to get rid of the, the edges or potential edges. For example, if you look closely here, you'll notice you're, you're able to see where that this the, the energy ball layer stopped. So I'm going just going to use the eraser tool to get rid of um, the sharp edges. Set the hardness down to zero and then brush away. Unfortunately, I'm brushing the wrong layer. So ensure that, of course, the, the current layer is selected, then brush away. Good stuff, good stuff. 
Additionally, what I want to do, I want just to make this effect look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to give the effect of the, the layers actually, the energy bars are actually wrapping around the fingers. So I'm going to duplicate the layer once more. Or better yet, I'm going to duplicate the, the layer once more. Turn off one. So I'm just basically um, preserving this layer just in case um, any mistake is made. And then with the eraser tool, I, hold, I held um, Alt and I pulled the, the, the mouse down to size it. So Alt, click and push forward, pull down to size the, 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 the selected tool. I'm also going to reduce the opacity of the eraser tool, which reduces the strength and then brush where the fingers are so unfortunately I'm, i have selected the wrong tool again so it should be the eraser tool i'll click push forward to downsize not sure what's happening okay so the strength is a little bit too much increase the increase the size I'll pull back so increase the opacity So the effect looks a little bit um, bizarre, a little bit too strong, but that can be addressed with the preserved layer that we had. So, so I'm going to turn on the visibility of the preserved layer, then reduce the strength a bit. I'm also going to grab a lens flare. So I already went ahead and Googled lens flares. Of course, again, you can choose the desired one. So I, choose, I chose this one, copy image, go back, and then edit, paste as new layer. So the lens flare will add to the overall effect and look of the energy ball. We can also set it to, to screen just as we did with the, the energy ball. And again, I will be getting rid of the sharp edges of the layer increase the opacity using the eraser tool once again yes i think i would like the energy bar to be slightly smaller so i'm going to size it down a bit And maybe I could slightly rotate it just so that it it separates itself from the top layer. So of course, if your hand is full of energy and uh, energy ball ready to fire, it should create some form of light. So for that, I'm going to use a, a layer, um, and I'm going to sample the color of the blue that is used. So I hit the flood fill tool, go up to my foreground stroke, click that. Then with 
the materials property up I'm going to sample a section of the blue that is being illuminated so I sample this section here hit OK and create a new layer so new raster layer and I'm going to flood through the entire screen then reduce the opacity of it just to create that kind of hue in fact we could even mess around with the, the blend modes to see what kind of effect we get so this is what darken looks like so as you can as you should realize by now a lot of this is a matter of testing and trial and error until you get the desired result so using the the down arrow key again I'm cycling through color all right I'm going to work with multiply and then reduce it yes so let's go back to the original one that I did um, this one looks a little bit more believable because I spent a little bit more time doing it but I just wanted to show that the concepts and um, the concept remains the same in this one the, the energy ball was smaller in terms of where it, it fits for this one I what I did I used um, some some uh, masks to, to, to erase instead of using the actual eraser but really and truly the, the end result it is what counts so this is it um, thank you for watching please subscribe and peace out